The network is down. It's your job to fix the network. Okay, so we need to fix this network. We've been told that to simulate the power outage, we need to click the Power Cycle Devices button in Packet Tracer. So I'll click that button. We're told that configurations not in the startup configuration will be lost. Do we want to reset the network? I'm going to say yes. As you can see here, router 2 has booted into ROM monitor mode. Router 1 is still booting up. Router 3 is booting up. But we're told that test bin is missing. So the file is not accessible and a default boot file is being used. So we've definitely got problems in the network. I'm gonna start fixing the network by starting with router two. Now in ROM monitor mode, I can see available commands by using the question mark and enter command. So use question mark and enter to view available commands or use help to view the available commands. Notice how ROM monitor increments in number every time a command is used. Now this command, conf reg, allows us to set the configuration register utility. In other words, we can set the configuration register value. So I'm gonna use conf reg 0x2102 to set the configuration register to normal boot. Now, if you're not sure what the configuration register values are, do a search in Google or your favorite search engine for Cisco configuration register. My first hit is use of the configuration register on all Cisco routers. So this document shows us the configuration register values. I'm gonna scroll down. In the document, we can see that the show version command shows us the configuration register value when in normal boot mode. We are not currently there. We are in ROM monitor mode. Here are a list of configuration register settings and the router behavior. This is the one that I wanna use. It ignores break, boots into ROM if initial boot fails and sets the console speed to 9,600 bits. That is essentially a default boot value on Cisco routers. You can set other values such as 0x2142, which ignores the contents of NVRAM. You wanna set the configuration register to this value when doing password recovery on a router. You can configure the configuration register in global configuration mode when a router has booted successfully by using the config register command. Our router in this example has not booted successfully. We are in ROM monitor mode or ROM mon mode. We can set the configuration register value by using this command once again and then power cycling the router. So I've set it to that value. This command will allow us to perform a system reset or reboot. So reset, the router is now booting up. Notice it's now loading the ISR bin file. In other words, it's loading the operating system. So that looks a lot better than what we saw previously when the router booted into ROM monitor mode. Notice in this example, I can press return to get started and I can see a router prompt, type enable, password is Cisco, show IP interface brief. We can see some configuration on the router, such as IP addresses, show IP protocols. We can see that the routing protocol enabled is EIGRP in Autonomous System 100. So that looks a lot better. So let's confirm 
what the configuration register is set to. Show version shows us that the configuration register is set to this. Now that's what it should be set to. We changed that to ROM monitor mode. However, if I configured it as 0x2100, that causes the router to boot into ROM monitor mode. So show version. Notice this is the current configuration register value. The next value will be this. And notice what happens if I reload without saving the configuration. I end up in ROM monitor mode. ROM monitor is set separately to the running configuration of a router. So even though I didn't save the running configuration, after making a change, the router rebooted into ROM monitor mode. So again, question mark enter, conf reg 0x2102, reset. That will hopefully boot the router back to where it was and restore the startup configuration of the router. It's important that you know configuration register settings, such as 2101. That, in the old days, booted a router into bootstrap mode. That's commonly ignored on modern routers today. 2102 is standard boot. 2100, not shown here, boots the router into ROM monitor mode and 2142 allows you to bypass NVRAM. Note, these are hexadecimal values. That's indicated by 0x. So this is a hex value. In other words, four binary bits. In other words, 0010 in binary. This is three zeros and a one in binary. This is 0100 in binary. And this is again 0010 in binary. Okay, so the router has booted up. That looks a lot better. Show IP interface brief. Shows us our IP addresses. We can see that the loopback is up, but this interface is down because there's a problem with router one. So at the moment, based on this configuration, it looks like this router has been fixed. Show version again shows us that the configuration register is set to this, which is the way we want it set.